Welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on Thursday, November the 7th, 2024. Tom, what are your comments about the election? Well, there's all kinds of uh, comments on it. Uh, I, I think simply about things. If I cannot, if I don't like the personality, and, and let's face it, Trump has a terrible personality. He's a very objectionable person. If I don't like personality, I go to policy. What are his policies versus what are his opponent's policies? Uh, and if Trump, President Trump does 20% of what he's committed and promised to do, the economy is going to do really, really well. Frankly, I tried to understand you know, Kamala Harris's part, but she never discussed anything. I couldn't get a clear answer. So the mere fact he got elected, you saw that market bounce, you know, opening right off the bed, get up 1,200 points, and the banks and everything, major companies in the States, big bounces. What it is, we've had a reaction, but I think as time goes on, this is going to be seen as positive for America and a pushback and a lot of the woke type of issues that the Democrats have been pushing. I think everybody has to do a rethink after that. America wants to go in a different direction. I suspect Canada does too, but we'll, we'll see. But on balance, a positive for markets. Okay, so let's talk about the stock markets as a whole. Yes, my favorite topic. One of my favorites. <laughs> you had the big bounces I just mentioned right after this. But they talk about a long tail. Uh, if Trump implements some or whatever, he can't implement all, you're not going to work in heaven. You're never going to, this is a world of 50% solutions. But if he did even half of what he did, you know, for example, he was really good for Canada though, the first time around. He approved the Keystone Pipeline. Biden canceled it the first day in, which is a tremendously devastating role to, thing to Canada. Trump, you can do a deal with worldwide. You can do a deal. He's just a tough negotiator, but he is transactional. You can do stuff with him. But if he does even part of what he's committed to do, then this buoyant equity economy and equity market will continue for a period of time. It isn't going to be a one show. Wow, isn't this great? He's in. Happy days are here again. And there's going to be disappointments. It's a world of 50% solution, as I said, but it's going to have a long tail that will provide some underpinning for a more buoyant market going on. So I'm, I'm optimistic about this. And, and at a minimum, we've got rid of the insanity of uh, suggesting a tax on unrealized gains. I mean, I don't know who even thought of that. So we're, we return to whatever normal looks like, but it's a step in that right direction. Thanks for your insights, Tom. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to next, next month. Me too. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.